So it's finally time. Mm -hmm. We're streaming worldwide all the way live on July 29th. I Battle presents Allegiance 5. First things first, props to the Booker. This whole card is stacked. Top to bottom, there's not a single battle that's whack. But real quick, I think it's real sick how it's time for homeschool versus real sick. Well, wait, on some real shit is MLJ versus Roheezy. First thing I want to say is, Lex, thanks for making my first battle so easy. <laughs> ah, shit. I just rhyme easy with easy. And I thought this battle rap shit was going to be easy. <laughs> Go, man. I did it again. Go. <laughs> easy with easy with easy. So, Roheezy, please go easy. <laughs> but for real, I was booked for this card, promised a big match, and I never heard of you. Man, Chunk was like, Chunk was right, where the fuck is Murder Mook? <laughs> All I get is because what you paid me. One show win, I'm already blowing your budget. Like a true outsider, I came in, got my rate, and made sure no one's going above it. See, I'm hauling ass with all this cash. Hauling ass, brawling bash. I love this pistol. You falling fast. I'll make it whistle like I'm calling cats. Ain't nothing funny. I'll give you all of that. These bullets will rip and tear through you like I did with my 1996 Pro Wrestling Illustrated Almanac. <laughs> Y'all with that? Oh, as soon as I'm done with this battle, I'm calling smack. <laughs> Oh. Well, to be more specific, I'm gonna call him back. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Dude's my first victim, and if anybody in this room don't like what I've written, you'll get nothing but rounds back to back like it's Tory Doe spitting. That's one. We got Roheezy versus a 36-year-old rookie with an unimpressive story. My second battle was in front of Rum and Sick. Y'all seen the Love of Legend show? Mm -hmm. Now I'm back on the main card in front of this middle-aged bitch, because overnight I made the point like a dubbing ceremony. Mm -hmm. But, but okay. a wrestling announcer is his status. Shit is actually amazing. Lex set this matchup as a casual arrangement. And I ain't sleep on him today. I came with raps for the occasion. Mm. But before we get started, do, do I pronounce your name like email or email? How do I say it? It doesn't matter what's your name! Yeah! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! It doesn't matter what your name is! I'm mad if y'all debate this. You think you could get me killed? Shoot your death's details. I will drag you to Canada in the snow. Tell dude to just be chill. Now watch his frozen face before I bag it. That's the only way that y'all gonna see cooler heads prevail. But if I, but if I, but if I lose, if I lose to you today, I'd be embarrassed to shame because they support you out of pity, but your character's waste. Y'all remember when the WWF could no longer carry its name? Right. I barely relate. Imagine having a rebrand losing to a charity case. I said, I said, y'all remember when the WWF could no longer carry its name? I barely relate. Imagine having a rebrand losing to a charity case. I carry the pace, but you do play-by-play -play analysis. It's barely credible. I'll stab you in the chest, take the air and breath from you. Oh. Acting like your job is so complicated. Your career ain't special till you go from commentator to the rarest vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> Till you, yo, till you go from commentator to the rarest vegetable. Today, the crowd came to watch. Today, hey yo. Hold it down, hold it down. Is that Vince Bell? Nah, that was that fuck. Yo, he's cooking right now. Whoa. Today, the crowd came to watch me end in a white rapper. I mean, the flow is swift, so they see Rowan flip like professional kayakers. Water leap. Water league, bitch! Water league, bitch! I got highlights in this ring just like Showtime casting it. You are Lex's little groupie, just a cosign rapper, but if you even make a sound, then you gon' die afterwards. I'm talking. <sighs> Let out a cyanide, kill you with a punch, this the Jonestown massacre. I'm saying. Let out a cyanide, kill you with a punch, this the. That was <laughs> I'm saying, oh, yo, I'm saying this is.
is, this is elevated thinking versus Lex's favorite newbie. You uneducated, truly unimpressive in this art form while I get to paint a movie. My craft within this culture, a metal cage to zookeep like an animal enclosure. This is second nature to me. If it's, if it's MLJ you're rooting for, get out your bets. Once I throw him in a casket, lay him down to rest, they'll have to replace the announcer's job with a doctor to pronounce him dead. Time. Oh, that was, go ahead. So round two. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know, I didn't think I'd have a round two bit until one time Lex asked me if I saw your battle against whoever the fuck, and I told him I'd get around to it. <laughs> it made me feel busy. But after this battle, when I get around to it, and I find out it's garbage, I will literally put a round through it. I mean, I will shoot my phone with a gun and some bullets if your battle is trash. <laughs> so you better hold your weight or I'll serve a plate of cattle and mash. Bystanders to tell the newspapers with their tattle and ass. You never did dirt. Probably just gravel and grass. <laughs> Landscaper on a bench of pier <laughs> That landscaper on your Ben Shapiro flow got your girl wet as some sandpaper. Damn. That's amazing. That's amazing. I don't care. That's. I'll tell you, this battle shit is fun. I mean, I know nothing about you, and I still wrote these three poems for and about you. And me, and me being with a lady and your family is really quite doubtful. But for the purposes of the battle. I'm about to. So who's hotter, your mom or your sister? Either way, I'll be referred to as a dominant mister. See, this is just proof I didn't know nothing about you and I still wrote these three poems for and about you until I showed up here and I realized there's something foreign about you. It's time for the personal, but I want to be respectful. I didn't want to assume you're Arabian. So imagine my sheer delight when I found out that you're a Canadian. Personal! Personal! You fucking... You fucking universal healthcare having poutine eating bastard! You'll never know what it's like to make a GoFundMe after a medical disaster. <laughs> Snacks are so great. I got me a bag of all dressed up. I took one taste and all I thought was, oh, this sucks. Your idea of a tuxedo consists of denim on top and bottom. I wouldn't brag about being all dressed up. The first time I was in your country was in March and all I thought was, oh, this sucks. The last round I made reference to a favored nation. This round I'll mention how Canada's never referenced as a favorite nation. <laughs> That's why I don't listen or pay attention to most of you dorks. Hell, a forest fire a couple months ago was the only time Canada brought the smoke to New York. Wow! Go! Oh, that was wildfire. That was wildfire. Uh, Y'all don't have smoky to bear and shit. That's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> That's it. All right. So, so, uh, you battled a referee in a ring, and there was one line you said that was extra clever. He said, and I quote, I'm like Des Lesnar. I'll push your head back like a Pez dispenser. Ugh. Oh, that's wow. Crazy. wow. I mean, at first I second guessed it. I kept watching it, dog. Till his opponent pointed out that was a disaster line he said against Hollow the Don. Now, either, either you incompetent or you bite it versus the dish. His response? Well, disaster didn't rhyme it with Des or Lesnar, so my version is different. Right. <laughs> oh, thank God you cleared that up. For a second, I thought Emil was stealing punches. How repugnant. You think changing the setup makes it a new line? Wow. Fucking Albert Einstein over here, jumping out the function. But if that theory's really true, I got a hundred rounds I'm dumping. If I see you and your little bros, I will punch a thousand munchkins. They say a mill in the lobby, I grab the nose running, I'm coming down with something. Fire! Set up on punch a thousand fires! And yo, say that again! Okay, okay, okay! Rum was out here bugging. 
But did he rhyme it with, I will punch a thousand munchkins? No, he didn't! No, he didn't! No, he didn't! you just, you just changed the first line. Shit is evident, we noticed, but I'm too cold like Walter White ready with explosives. Your method is just bogus. I said Walter and too cold because it's crystal clear how we walk into a setup and then blow it. What are you? What else? Yeah. What else? Yeah. Yeah. How we walk into a setup and then blow it. You better get it focused because the fight's established. Parking ticket for a hearse. I hope to find a casket. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Don't ruin your day to run this back. I'll punch this guy and crack him. Uh -huh. Then turn a broken face on and watch to a timeless classic. Knock, wow. knock his ass out of on the camera. Imagine Emil face down. Then upload it to TikTok. You can catch him on the page now. Mm. Dozing on the net like the hammock at your lake house. Mm. If this battle never drops, it's because the way you cook is bland, so they have to get your takeout. In other words, in other words, the only reason that I'll let him to the vault is because he'd rather take the safe route. That was smack a, over. Smack a, smack a rapper in the face. I'll destroy him for real. To me, all these children food, but I ain't come to toy with a meal. So, so always so, so always, always remember that you just a biting bitch. There's a difference between the styles that we choose to be right with because you're the type to steal punches while I rule with an iron fist. Bitch! Go! Yeah. 90 second rounds, bet you wish they both did four a minute flat. Fuck the prequel, we ain't equals. Oh. This the sequel. Oh. Stop oh. Song. Oh. And still oh. Max! <laughs> Yeah, it's that MLJ shit. I just say shit to do you foul on purpose. It's labor. No, 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 no. It's that MLJ shit. I just say shit. Do you foul on purpose? It's flagrant. My thoughts dark as a basement. You'll watch in amazement as I grab him by the head and smash his brain through the pavement. It'll be a display in displacement because the impact will be so great. Your neck will break and your body will be laying adjacent. And ain't nobody like Canadian bacon. It's not true. It's just that. That's very true. Yeah, I like it. But I'm done speaking on Canada for these speeches on camera. It's time for the Coke bar. I've been inspired by those who got more keys than the janitor. He got this shit that's so wet and want to speak to the manager. That's so cool. I'm just known for moving packets of powder like the Kool-Aid man. The Coke's so white boy, it'll Punch through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> yeah, I know my approach was sort of sloppy. Just knowing with the shits everywhere like a porter potty. I'm too I'm too smart, dog, like a pair of border collie. We talking money, I fold a paper, there's an origami. I do another couple more of these, I could probably afford a Rari. Nah, I'm off the fictitious shit. Cause you don't get the significance to understand the big differences between our businesses. You jump in our ring and break your shit worse than Sid Vicious did. Oh, oh that hurts. 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 I'm ripping this rapper apart like I expect sick Christmas gifts. Eating them up like a plate of six chicken strips. Then I'll flip them over and give them a stiff victim kick. See, I can do what you do, but you can't say the same. I'm swerving through traffic when the sign said stay in lane. So the next time that I arrive and rhyme my verse, I want high collide in that grind time shirt. <laughs> When the going gets tough, some people push drugs to be getting their cheese up. Others, such as Emil, have side hustles like selling DVDs and delivering pizza. <laughs> Hold up, delivering pizza? I will call you up at work, order a combo with the best. I want 20,000 <laughs> toppings and a lot of garlic bread. Yeah. Soon as he pop by the dough, have him nodding over steps. Yeah. Pizza delivery driver getting knocked down by row, just the dominoes effect. <gasps> Ready? Yeah. yeah. Break, yeah, break the kid in a major way. Break the kid in a major way. This ain't no minor beating. Then pull up to the hospital beside him scheming. Break his arm again if you try and reach me. They gotta update the cast, it's an IMDB. 
Try a three piece. Try a three piece. This is like the Jordans and the Kobe's versus a fan that played pickup on the court against the homies. You hit up Lex's phone to get some dough for this performance because you broke it in a hoe and still ain't holding on to no cheese. More desperate than an NBA groupie trying to find a condom in the garbage. Ugh. How you go? How you go through a trash round to get a portion of the proceeds? A portion of the proceeds. Why? No. More desperate, more desperate than an NBA groupie trying to find a condom in the garbage. Ew. How you go through a trash round to get a portion of the proceeds? Fan fucking tastic. As far as battle rap goes, you are not the embodiment. Yeah, I'm a nerd, but also a globe trotter hopping across all the continents. You are battling at home. I rep Toronto the highest, but still feel comfortable in Staten because I'm used to being a backpacker in a hostile environment. Mm. I am him. And all this fake beef and battle rap makes the worst of television. I'm the best with the promo, but it hurts to sell division. Because at every event, it's someone trying to lure attention, fibbing about murder, getting fists, and trying to curse and yell to fit it. But y'all ain't got hands, you got rug burn. Just a bunch of pom poms scraping by with surface level friction. Listen. Listen. You trying, to, you trying to animate components of your life like it is Disney. If this wrestling guy would ever shoot, it's because he's trying to get the script leaked. Acting like you got a brick with a pistol, let it fire with the blicky. But in real life, he'd either drop the weight or skate with the trait like a diner in the 60s you get you get me you get me fake it with these guns you ain't gripping it's so tragic only thing we can compare to a mill when he chrome blasting is the flash flopping at the box office because he failed to hit the target with the fictional bolt action bro capping and your multiple careers represent your lack of originality when writing these bars you deliver pizza wrapped in cardboard while recycling dog then package DVDs and broken cases. This guy is a fraud. You even work in a square ring. Now battle rap falls in line with the vibe of all five of your jobs because every round you've ever sold us is confined to a box. Mm. That's time and you lost. Yeah. <laughs>